Hi, in this short video I will introduce the photoelectric effect. In 1921, Albert Einstein was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics, not for his famous theories of relativity, but for his work on the photoelectric effect. In the 19th century, scientists, including Heinrich Hertz, observed that when ultraviolet light is shone on a metal surface, electrons can be emitted from the surface. This is known as the photoelectric effect. They made observations that could not be explained by the wave theory of light. Electrons were only emitted if the frequency of the radiation was above a certain threshold. For example, electrons may be emitted from a zinc plate by a weak ultraviolet light, but red light of any intensity does not cause any photoelectric emission. They also noticed that the number of electrons emitted per second is proportional to the intensity of the incident radiation, so how strong the light is, but only if the radiation is above that threshold frequency. The wave theory of light says that each surface conduction electron should absorb energy from the waves regardless of their frequency, so it cannot explain this cliff edge before, below which no electrons are emitted at all. Einstein proposed a photon theory of light to explain this. He said that electromagnetic radiation consists of packets of energy, or photons, with an energy proportional to the frequency of the radiation. The relationship between energy of a photon and the frequency of the radiation is E equals HF, where H is the Planck constant, which is equal to 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. We can also write this as E equals HC over lambda, where lambda is the uh, wavelength and C is the speed of light. Einstein explained that when light shines on a metal surface, each surface electron absorbs a single photon of light. It's a one-to-one -one exchange. And the electron gains the energy of the photon, HF. The electron can only escape from the surface of the metal if the energy is large enough. This is known as the work function. The work function is the minimum energy needed for an electron to escape from a surface of a metal, and it uses the symbol phi. If the photon provides more energy than the work function, this extra energy is transferred to the electron's kinetic energy. If the photon has less energy than the work function, the electron simply does not escape from the metal. The work function is a property of the metal, and it varies between different materials. Since the excess photon energy is transferred to kinetic energy, we can write Einstein's full photoelectric equation as HF, that is the energy of the photon, is equal to the work function, so the minimum energy needed to release an electron, plus the kinetic energy, the maximum kinetic energy, of the emitted electrons. The classic experiment to demonstrate the photoelectric effect is using a gold leaf electroscope. The electroscope is negatively charged, causing the gold leaf to be repelled from the stem. If electrons are able to escape from the plate at the top, the electroscope will become neutral and the gold leaf will fall back into place. First, a powerful red laser is shone at the zinc plate on the top, but nothing happens. Why? Well, even though the laser has got a very high intensity, and it transfers a lot of energy to the plate, each individual photon of red light has got a relatively low energy, less than the work function for this metal. So the electrons cannot escape from the zinc plate, and the gold leaf does not fall. Next, a relatively weak ultraviolet light is shone on the plate, and the gold leaf does fall. This is because, although the overall energy hitting the plate is lower than for the red laser, each individual photon has got an energy that is greater than the work function. Therefore, photoelectrons are emitted from the zinc surface. An analogy for this is a fairground coconut shy. You could throw hundreds of table tennis balls that are like low energy red electrons at the coconut, but it will not move. However, throw one bowling ball like a high energy ultraviolet photon at it and the coconut will be dislodged. Since the energy of a photon, E equals HF, and the minimum energy needed for photoelectric emission is phi, the work function, 
there must be a threshold frequency above which the photoelectric effect will occur. And we can write that as F min, so the minimum frequency needed, is going to be equal to the work function divided by the Planck constant. So the threshold frequency is the frequency equivalent of the work function. It is the minimum frequency needed. Finally, let's consider an idea called stopping potential. If we apply a positive charge to a metal plate, we can pull the escaping electrons back through electrostatic attraction. The minimum electrical potential needed to stop the electrons from escaping, we call the stopping potential. And this has the symbol V S. At this potential, the kinetic energy of the emitted electrons is reduced to zero, and the electrons are not quite able to escape. Therefore, the maximum kinetic energy that these photons would, ha would have had without the plate being charged is equal to the stopping potential multiplied by the charge of an electron. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.